Hello and welcome. I am the student tied the Chu guy, and this is the number 48 review, the 48th review of the Soda Pop playlist. And we will be taking a look at this guy. This is Kickapoo Joy Juice. So, briefly before I get into the packaging over at the desk here, this product originally came out in 1965. And it is a product of Monarch Beverage. They still license it. This is a product, though, that is under the umbrella and bottled by Orca Beverage, which we keep having come up through these reviews. So Monarch, although it's based out of, I believe, Atlanta, Georgia. I know it's Georgia. I believe it's Atlanta. They're based out of there. Basically, they are completely in foreign markets at this point, which is why they have Orca making this product for them. Um, they, this comes in cans, regular plastic bottles and whatnot, etc. and so forth in Southeast Asia. Yeah, so, um, this is the only one I know of at this time that is in North American market, and it is the classic in a 12-ounce green glass bottle. Monarch Beverage makes all kinds of stuff, and it's, it's unfortunate most of it is not even carried, m most of it is not carried at all in the United States. This is the only one I know of that Orca is doing but I am still, I went into one of my research deals for this and it sort of started getting wider and wider and wider. And next thing I was like, if I keep going with this, I'm going to be like one of those freaking nutcases with the whiteboard and arrows and tape going everywhere. So let's just stick to this review. This product, when it originally came out, was meant to compete with Mountain Dew. It even had the same type of advertising and there was a whole hillbilly thing going on, etc. and so forth. I believe taste-wise what the product actually is, is very similar to Mountain Dew. The product does have caffeine and this one is using cane sugar. So with that, let's take it over to the desk. Okay, and here we are. As I said, this is a 12 fluid ounce green glass bottle. You're looking at this at three stickers. You got one up on the neck. You got the lower one on the front, which is denoting the 12 fluid ounces. And then you have one on the back. They are all clear backed, so that is why you're not, you're, you're just seeing the print. Uh, this is going to be real hard to see. I, I will go in on the nutritional information, but this is going to be a hard one to pull off. And it's not even so much due to the uh, size of the print. It's just they got yellow on a, what basically amounts to a greenish yellow product. So, Kickapoo Julep Juice. This is the original dog patch recipe. If anybody was wondering what they initially intended by meaning that is of Kickapoo. Anyway, bottled by Orca Beverage Incorporated of Muckalito, Washington. www.orcabeverage.com is their website. But underneath that, under the authority of Monarch Beverage Company Incorporated. Now, I have not gone, I have gone to the Monarch website. I have not gone to the, the website made for this particular product which is www.drinkapoo. Wait. Dr <laughs> let, let me let me start that www.drinkkickapoo.com. Got barcode and recycling and then we will go in but I don't think you're going to be able to really see it to the nutritional facts. So you got 47 grams sugars there. All 47 grams are added. All 47 grams of added sugars translates out to total carbs of 47 grams. 
160 grams total. The serving size is this bottle. For those overseas, it is 355 milliliter. Now down here contains no juice. Pure cane sugar is listed though. And at the very end, you have caffeine. And of course, yellow five, because this is somewhat like Mountain Dew. So I'm hearing. So we're going to go back up top with this and check it out. I am not, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I am not, I am not seeing a Best Buy date. Boom. Okay, so we're pretty far out on this. And with that, we will go back up top and I will see what this is about. And we are back. So you have a plain yellow cap on this, which I am sure is going to be twist off. I am sure is going to be twist off. I am unsure if this is twist off. Uh, however, I am prepared. It's a plain cap. And I have a feeling that I'm going... Yeah, it was supposed to be twist off, but my hands are already damaged enough, so we're using the bottle opener on that one. Smells like Mountain Dew. Looks like Mountain Dew. It's not as a uh, It's a little bit more It smells like Mountain Dew, but it's not quite to the extent of oh my god, what am I about to ingest? That uh, that's my perception of Mountain Dew. And I used to drink the stuff. I, I before Pepsi Max came out, I I drank Mountain Dew. It was the highest caffeine product carbonation looks significant that you know again i was expecting that not a huge fan but you know whatever kickapoo joy juice there's a whole story behind that too it, it it comes from a... I'm not going to get into the whole story because I'm not even quite sure if I understand the whole story. But it comes from a fictional alcoholic beverage on a comic strip from like the 1950s. So I'm not even quite sure if I want to delve into that. Uh, this is basically a pretty good tasting, very sweet... It, it, it's basically... I don't want to say it's a carbon copy because it's not. There are differences here. And I'm sort of picking up on them, but I can't quite place them. And I don't think even if I could, I'd be able to fully explain. It basically is a Mountain Dew type beverage. Uh, to me, which is a little surprising because it is using cane sugar, it doesn't seem... It's very, very sweet, but it doesn't seem as syrupy to me uh mouthfeel wise mountain dew towards the end of me drinking that before pepsi max came out or pepsi zero sugar whatever they're calling it this month i switched over to diet mountain dew which i absolutely hated at first but you do get used to things like that so a couple times i got caught without it and I was like, okay, well, I'll just buy regular Mountain Dew. Well, that didn't go over well because after you drink the diet version of Mountain Dew long enough, like more than a couple weeks, and you try to go back to the regular product, you, it feels like you're drinking straight syrup. This is not coming off as that. It's a little cleaner. It's a little crisper. Carbonation is very present. Uh, but taste-wise and whatnot, although I feel like there's a slight difference more of a citrus aspect. And when I say citrus, I think like Sprite. Um, it basically is what it set out originally to compete with. It's a Mountain Dew-esque product. 
And that's about it. I mean, there's nothing really else to say. It's all right. I'll finish this bottle. It's got caffeine in it, so that's okay by me. Uh, it's good, It and it's very like Mountain Dew, but there's just something pushing it sort of lemon-lime-wise towards like a almost 7-Up type flavor. It's almost like somebody got regular Mountain Dew, the syrupy stuff, and mixed it with 7-Up. But that, that's basically what I'm, how I'm feeling this is going right now. Um, I got this on the soda popstop.com Galatios or Galatios or whatever it's called out in LA. It was shipped to me. This has been my review of Kickapoo Joy Juice. I am the Soon Tied Up and Shoe Guy. I do thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch monetized content. It is greatly helping the situation here. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.